All right, so I was just getting the truck ready to see if I could get a sticker, and I found out that I had some problems with the tail lights. I guess I didn't notice it uh, when I bought it. So that side over there doesn't work at all. This side here, I have uh, reverse, I have the brake light, I just don't have the tail light. So I've done some testing, and I'm gonna basically, I've, I've found the problem. All right, so I'm here under the uh, rear driver's side, and you can see he's added uh, a um, electric brake, and it's got, of course, a, a trailer light set up. But this here, you can see this actually, uh, at one point, he must have been popping fuses because this was grounded out and actually burnt. You can see. Uh, but when I tested at this connection here, if you can see it, and I'll show you how to do that, uh, I had everything, you know. So my brown is my tail light. Uh, this ground here obviously was shot, so he just ran his own ground here. So I've got to get this fixed. I'm going to wire this all up and try to do a little bit better job of keeping it up off the frame here, or the, or the reese hitch rather. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll just kind of run through uh, what you should get at this point, and then if I get uh, the taillights working and such, I'll show you what those are, and we'll go from there. So let me, uh, let me start splicing some of these wires together. And then I'll be back and we'll just see if it works and we'll run through uh, what you should be getting if you're trying to diagnose yours. So let me take care of this and I'll be back. All right, just a quick check in. You can see I'm making progress. Uh, the tail lights are the brown wire and I've got that all done. And I'm basically using shrink, uh, shrink tubing. And the other thing I'm doing, instead of doing one big bundle, I'm actually splitting it off and I'm, you know, I created a Y and then I went off to uh, the various parts. So instead of having just one big ball of wires, which is what this was, uh, and then it also gives me a little extra length on the jack. So let me just keep going here, and then we'll come back, and I'll kind of show you what we should be seeing out of these, uh, out of these jacks. All right, so I thought I'd run through a quick little test here that you can do. If you're having trouble with one side, then obviously that's the one you want to run this test on. If you're having trouble with both lights, then uh, do this test down at the... Um, connection down by the spare tire that I showed you earlier in the video. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is test to make sure my ground is good here. Okay, so that's the black wire right here. Okay, and my tail lights are on and the key is on. So I'm going to push it into the brown connection. Okay, my tail light's good on this one. So let me, uh, I'm going to hook this back up to just a regular ground. I'm going to go flip the blinker on real quick. Okay, so we're gonna test the blinker here. That should be the dark green there. Okay, it's blinking kind of fast. Okay, so then uh, remember the blinker is also your brake light. So another video I have where I was hooking up trailer lights, people ask, how can you have the brakes and the blinkers and the reverse and everything? It's because basically your brake light is your blinker light on steady, right? So that makes sense. All right, let me go hit the reverse real quick. Now I had to, I had to rig up the reverse. This actually, this uh, light green wire had pulled out. It took me a while to find it, but it wasn't good. So give all these wires a good little tug. And you can see what I did is I just drove some, uh, <laughs> I just drove some copper wire strands down into the, um, down into the jack itself from the backside where the wire goes. And then I wrapped those copper wire strands around the wire hit it with a tiny bit of solder, and then I just drove that back in there. So that's actually making contact with the pin um, on the connection. So I know that's going to that's gonna make a good connection, and where I soldered it and everything, it's, it's probably not going to fail. So let me go hit the uh, reverse. Now I've got the vehicle, you know, the tires are chalked, and I'm not going to obviously have the vehicle running. I'm just going to flip it over to reverse, and we'll test the reverse light, which is the light green. All right, so we're testing the light green one here, and you can see I've got the, the uh, strands there. There it is. So brown is your tail lights, light green is your reverse, green is your blinker slash brake, and black is your ground. Okay, so obviously you've checked that your bulbs are all in good shape and so forth, but you still want to have this plugged in. I don't right now give all the bulbs a wiggle because you might have a connection issue in the bulb socket so you could take a small brush like this little spark plug brush and kind of clean up the terminals a little bit and um, I've actually taken a small screwdriver and bent the terminals in toward the bulb just to create a little more tension uh, against the bulb base okay and then you could uh, use a little bit of dielectric grease you know once you get it working 
just to keep the corrosion from happening and keep a good connection I would actually just put it right on the ball base and then pop that back in place so hopefully this video has been helpful um, apparently there are a lot of issues with these tail lights mine happen to be wiring uh, so I've got that all squared away I've, I've actually had some of the um, wire loom laying around so I put that everywhere I could and then I've got uh, cable ties and I've kind of got it up off the frame you know so the less uh, vibration and movement you have on your cabling or your wiring rather uh, the better off you're going to be because all that vibration eventually wears through the shielding um, allowing corrosion to come in and grounding out and all kinds of bad things will happen so good luck hopefully uh, this will help you out if you're having issues with your tail light leave questions and comments below and thanks for watching if you want to see more hit that subscribe button have fun